Welcome to the Delta Math Tutorial Solutions. Here we will be covering the parabola features. The question asks, use the graph to determine the coordinates of the vertex of this parabola. So the vertex is the point in which this parabola turns direction. So notice it keeps going up. Then it reaches its maximum value, then it starts going down. This point here is going to be considered the vertex. So the vertex here, remember a point is a vertex. The point is in the format x comma y. This point here is negative 6, 1. Negative 6 in the x, 1 in the y. Let's put that in here for the solution. Negative 6. It's one point and it is at negative six comma one. All right, there we go. The next problem here asks us to use this graph to determine the equation of the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry for a parabola is always going to be a straight line and it always goes down and it splits the parabola in half. Here's the vertex. And the vertex here is the point 1, 9. The line of symmetry or the axis of symmetry is going to be the line that cuts it right down the middle. Okay. And notice it crosses the what value? It crosses the x equals to 1 value, correct? See how it cuts it in half? So we'll here, we will say that the equation would be x is equal to 1. Okay, it is also going to be the x value of the vertex because that's where it cuts it straight down. So x is equal to 1 is going to be the axis of symmetry. So we would say it is 1 it's not one point it is one equation and it would be x is equal to one okay so that is correct in this problem now it asks us to use this graph this parabola to determine the y-intercept of the parabola the parabola here has a y-intercept. The y-intercept is the location in which the graph crosses, crosses the y-axis. Okay, the y-axis goes up and down. Okay, it would go up, down, it crosses right here at this point. This would be the y-intercept. The y-intercept here is the point x comma y the x value here is zero and the y value here it is five so the y intercept is at one point at zero comma five it is at one point and it is at zero comma five submit good job This problem asks to use this graph to determine the coordinates of the roots of the parabola. Okay, you might see x-intercept or you might see the solution. So here, I want you to understand that the roots, the solution, or the x-intercepts are all the same thing. Okay, all right. So it is located, the root solutions and x-intercepts are all the same. So here are the x-intercepts, right? And here it is when x is equal to 1, and this is when x is equal to negative 3. Notice, this is the point 0, sorry, it is the point negative 3 comma 0. And this is the point 1, 0. Notice y is 0. y is 
zero. That is the reason why it's considered the solution or the roots. Okay. So we can say here, let's say how the question want us to answer it. Two points, one point or one equation. You could say it's two points. Okay. And the two points here are going to be negative three, zero and one zero okay there you go those are the roots it is where it intersects the x axis when y equals to zero there you go now if you take a look at this problem it says use the graph to determine the coordinate of the x intercept of the parabola it's the same problem but this time okay it 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 says the x intercept all right remember that the x intercept is the same thing as the solution which is going to be the same thing as the roots all right the locations are here because that's where it crosses at that point negative one comma zero notice this is when y equals to zero okay x is equal to negative one here is this point three comma zero x is equal to three that's a solution because that is when y is equal to zero the way delta math would like it is they would like the points so we would say it has two points the first point is going to be at negative one zero and the second point is, is at oh, oh, and the second point is going to be at three and zero okay there you go all right so those are all the features that the parabola features can ask you